reasons to doubt Try to keep me down But I'll put the flame out You can't get to me Throw your sticks and your stones Go break all of my bones You won't ache my soul You can't get to me Hey guys and welcome back. Today's tutorial is a soft and elegant prom makeup look using only affordable products. So to get started we're going to be applying an eye cream onto our lids just to make sure that our eyelids are nice and moisturised before we apply anything else. We're going to be taking this concealer and using it as an eye base and just applying it all the way from the brow bone to the lid to make sure that our eyes are nice and corrected of colour and everything stays on a really long time. Then we're going to take the Revolution Ultimate Eyeshadow Collection and taking this matte beige colour and applying it all over the lid just to make sure that the concealer is set and that nothing will move. Then I'm going to take this matte brownie beige colour and start to apply this into our crease with a fluffy crease brush and I'm going to be concentrating it on the outer V and then begin to take it into the crease and we're going to do a kind of spotlight effect on the eye today because we want to make the eyes look nice and rounded and large. You want to kind of create a halo effect around the eye to make the eyes look rounder and more large and I'm also going to be taking that colour onto the inner corner to give us that halo effect. And then taking that brush that we first started off with, we're just going to be using this brush to blend the colour outwards to make sure that it looks nice and diffused. Then I'm just going to be going back into that colour to try and make sure that it looks nice and intense and that the colour is nice and pigmented in the crease. Next I'm going to be taking this darker warm brown colour and start to apply this in the outer V and the crease just to create more definition and to make sure that it's starting to look a little bit more like a soft smoky eye. For this I'm using a petite crease brush and just using it to create more definition in the areas that we want to look deeper. I'm also going back into that original brush and just making sure to blend everything out to make sure that it diffuses into one another. Next I'm going to be taking this off black colour and start to apply into our crease. This is completely optional, this just gives a little bit more definition and starts to change the look of your eye shape. Of course, if you want to go for something softer, then you can leave this step. But I just wanted to go for it because I wanted to make sure that my eyes look nice and defined. And I'm just doing the same step as we did with the other colours, but just using the black and making sure that this is nice and blended out. And we just applied it in the inner and outer corner and just joined the two inner and outer corner on the crease. So it just kind of joins all together. Then I'm going to take a Q-tip with a little bit of makeup remover and just clean up. Then I'm going to be taking a retractable black pencil from NYX and just apply this onto my outer corner just to create a little bit more definition on the outer corner. Then I'm going to be taking our lid colour. This is this really light shimmery colour and just be applying this onto our lid. This is going to make the eye look a lot more rounded and the focus on the eye is going to be on the centre of the lid. Then I'm taking that same pencil brush we used for the black and just use this to blend out that pencil that we applied before. First I'm going to apply some mascara and then I'm going to apply our false lashes. This is again of course optional. If you want to use your natural lashes then of course that's fine. But I wanted to wear false lashes just because I know that it gives my eyes so much more definition. Then I'm going to get started onto my skin. I'm using my moisturiser and then going in with the L'Oreal Dream Lumi Primer. And I'm just applying this all over my face before we begin our foundation. I'm going to be mixing two foundations together. I'm mixing the Bourjois Healthy Mix and the Dream Satin Touch foundation from Maybelline. And I'm just applying this all over my skin and blending in with the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge, Miracle Complexion Sponge, I think it's called, and just basically buffing it into my skin. And this just gives me a really nice flawless coverage. Go with whatever foundation you know is going to last well on your skin and you know what foundation is going to look the most flawless. So it comes out really flawless in photos to create the coverage that you desire. I wanted to go for more of a full coverage, so I'm just building up a little bit more coverage on the areas that I need it. I 
I've already done my eyebrows off camera but the tutorial is in the description box if you do want to know how I do my eyebrows then please check the description box as the link will be there next I'm going to be highlighting under my eyes with some concealer I'm using the Maybelline fit me concealer and this is one of the best concealers to highlight the under eyes and then I'm going in with the Maybelline dream Lumi touch concealer stick in ivory and this just gives me a little bit more of that lighter under eye and it's just going to highlight the other areas of the face that I want to bring forward I'm just going in with the same sponge from Real Techniques and just using bouncing motions to make sure that's nice and bounced into the skin and everything just goes into one another and there's no harsh lines. Next I'm going to be applying some white eyeliner into the waterline of my eye. I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I also used a little bit of eyeshadow under my eyes but my camera decided to go out of focus so I apologise for that. Once I've done that I'm just going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes and this just creates more definition and just balances the top from the bottom and now our eyes are looking nice and open and they just look really nice and rounded so this is just a really pretty open eyed look. Then I'm going to be using some bronzer. I'm using the Revolution Baked Bronzer and just applying this onto my cheeks and I'm just going to go around the perimeter of my face just to give us that really gorgeous bronzed glow. Then I'm going to apply a NYX blusher in Angel and just apply this to the apples of my cheeks and just roll it back to create a nice lifted cheekbone. Then I'm going to apply the Revolution Baked Highlighter. I'm just going to be applying this onto my cheek. Then for the lips I'm going to be using a NYX retractable lip liner in natural and just going around my lip line and just creating a really soft nude colour and then I'm going to be taking a slightly darker version of this colour, it's just I think the one down from it and just go around the lip just to create a little bit more definition just because I want my lips to look a little bit fuller, this is of course optional and I'm just going to be blending that in with my finger just so that it doesn't look like a really harsh line around my lips. Then I'm using the Maybelline Nude Lipstick in Tantalizingly Taupe, I think it's called, and just applying this all over my lips. I'm going to go on top of that with a nude gloss from NYX. This is one of their butter glosses. So guys, that is the end of this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and give me a comment as well and let me know what you thought. Also subscribe if you haven't already and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!